Hey there guys, what is going on? Sloppy here, and we are trying out Core. It is Epic's um, Metaverse game, I guess. Game, is that what we are supposed to call it? All right, let's change it to Avatar. It can be changed later, so I'm not too worried about it. Very jacked dudes. You know what, let's, uh, oh wow, okay, yeah, let's be Fishman. Uh, be a gray fish. Ooh, okay. Wow, there's a lot of customizable here. Pretty cool. All sorts of NFT. Maybe a fish pirate? Certainly can. Kind of ironic. Uh, ooh, nice hockey stick. You know what's interesting is it feels very, um, feels very similar to Fortnite. But okay, sure. Got cool mounts. Okay, that's very cool. Care about the emotes? All right, cool. So I can update my avatar whenever. Here I can pay for new costumes. Okay, so it brings you to this. Interesting. This used to be kind of in the game. Check out Core World. I'm super interested in metaverse stuff. I uh, own one of the Oculus headsets, and I really just, I enjoy checking out the futuristic stuff. So when I heard, I got an email from Core saying like they updated something to do with their metaverse, and I was like, oh, so this is Epic's uh, thing. I know Epic's uh, first ex exploration into the metaverse is the Core game. I'd like you to visit the ape tension of the mecha factions or explore the great hall where you'll find portals to other adventure. Sick. Music is kind of bumping. I turn this way down. Sorry, that was probably super loud for you guys. I'm sorry about that. Uh, okay, okay. I want to get rid of... Oh, wow, I have everything set super high. I don't have a great computer either, and it looks like it's running okay. I turn off motion blur. Okay. Hear me out. No more motion blur. Does look sick though. Oh, you can change them like this. Oh, oh, well, this is awesome. Okay. Ooh. The skate brings me to the big menu where I can check out all the games. I have the avatar thing up here. We of course have the shop where you can buy all your stuff. Looks like there's all sorts of different friends and things. Create. This is where you can make your own worlds and stuff. Ah, uh, what did I do? Oh, I see. It takes you right out of it. Okay. Interesting. I think interesting. Can I... Uh... Voting. All sorts of stuff. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here. I don't. There's a lot there. Uh, this is a cool intro world, though. This video might be kind of boring for some people. I'm mostly just curious to check out the game. I'll probably try some of the games in other videos or something, but I was mostly just curious 
I think this whole thing is sort of new as like an intro world. Why well, I was kind of curious to jump into it. Let's uh, check out if I lower curious. What it looks like on like medium. Yeah, I'm just I'm curious what it looks like on medium. Like it looks really good. And it's running really well on ultra, which is impressive to say the least. Whoa. Ah. Sorry, I spammed buttons. Ooh, okay, there's my mount. G. Uh, yeah, you can see it. It doesn't look quite as good, but it's not bad. So Mechaverse team and unique events for Mecha holders and each portal will be updated progressively. The mini games, lore experiences, Portal will take you to multiplayer, single player games, jump into an endless arcade. That's kind of cool. You can come up here and just jump into a portal and play. I'm. Am I. Is this guy like my mecha? Did I miss reading something? Looks awesome, so let's just try it. Sure. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when I jump into Core World. I've heard this game described as fancy Roblox, and <laughs> I mean, not disagreeing. Okay, this is what it used to be. Yeah. This is what it was uh, before. So they added that Citadel thing. Yeah. Uh, grand opening of Mega Citadel, a vibrant world with lore, history, and giant mechs. Metaverse began, Mechaverse began as a collection of 8,800 an anime-inspired giant robot that grown. Explore the Mechaverse from... VIP, so there's some sort of VIP thing for this. Um, quite confused, so there's events and stuff. Daily crate. That's good to know. So this has been built out an absolute ton since I last played, which was probably like a year ago. It's on the channel somewhere, but this has um, a lot. So active events. Check out. Check out events. So we've got Inter Blitz, Obi Wars, King Magnate. Yeah, been a lot of work done. There's been a lot of work done since I last played. It looks like this is most engaging games. Primal World. Okay, a lot of interesting stuff. I like that it's all like uh, most active games. That's cool. There's War Heroes, Hell Breach. Yeah, I like that it's all laid out nicely like this. Or it was just kind of not empty, but it definitely had sort of strangeness. Uh, all right, I'm gonna uh, I guess jump into an event. Why not? You no, know, why not? So it looks like the instances you into a server. So it says five out of thirty-two. So I wonder if you're with your friends, it must put you all in the same one, right? Is this events? Yeah. All right, let's uh, check out. Let's check out this one, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> check a mask wallet. Okay, so you can have NFTs and have custom stuff or something. It seems like, I mean, the one thing your first time I played was just like, it felt almost like Gary's mod, where it was like, oh, this is a cool idea, and then like, people will build it up and there'll be cool games. Now it feels like they've built much more of an infrastructure around it all, which is really cool. All right, so, uh, shoot. What? Kind of a 
have a shooting game. All right. Just a shooting game with four teams. I don't think there's anyone else in this game. Oh, there's ice stuff. No, it doesn't look like there's anyone else in the game. Um, looks okay. I mean, a lot of the assets look like they're like, kind of reused from Fortnite, which, I mean, I don't really care about too much, but it doesn't look bad. Like, I, I, I like the sort of art style, which is something I've always said about uh, Fortnite, if I'm honest. I've always kind of... I've always not minded the... Like, I wonder, do I have a little place I can, like, hang out in? Ah, ah. Um, like I've always kind of liked this sort of interesting, weird art style of Fortnite. Now I'm on another team. I just, like, don't have anyone else. Do I get the experience for being here? <laughs> Yeah, you know what? The difference between Ultra and... Uh, maybe this is just not a map that shows it off super well. This game would be mayhem if you had four teams, though. This would be pretty fun. Um, the difference between Ultra and Medium isn't bad. So if it's a big performance thing, that's pretty cool that they've done a good job with it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, kill people, hold the middle. Okay, this is an issue I had with Gary's mod and a lot of these games is they'll instance you into these things, but there's not other people around. Kind of sucks. Yeah. Here's one. It says it has 24 people in it. At least it's giving you the, like, thing. Your game lobby. Popular events, fishing events, creepy market. Oh. Oh, these are registered. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So they are like events with times. That's really interesting. Let's check out this active event, I guess. It looks like it's downloading and instancing everything. Interesting. This is a weird video for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm mostly just checking out the game and I thought I'd record it because I find this stuff really interesting, so maybe somebody else will as well. I am impressed, though. I honestly thought this game would kind of come out and Epic would kind of leave it to die and put all of it into Fortnite. Um, so it's cool that it looks like they've done a really good job building it. And... Well, maybe they haven't. I have no idea how many people are on it, but there's certainly a lot more in it now, which is cool. Honestly, I always sort of assumed their metaverse, their big play, would be inside of Fortnite eventually. Login reward. I've got a giant sword. Cool. Office T. Holy cow. It looks like these games could kind of be as big as you want, which is... Got a map. All right, then. Uh, let's orient ourselves. Alien zone... Global power grabbed. Rank level. There's the levels. Power. Auto loot, auto attack. Crafting. Skills. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, some complex systems. Discord. Okay. So it's just kind of like a weird... Oh, I died. All right. Well, that's... That's rough. Um... <laughs> Maybe I should have played the tutorial. Uh... Visually pretty cool. 
All right, well, uh, not respawning or anything. This is awkward. Um, no. Uh, equipment drops from aliens. Uh, I don't, I don't know, man. There's a lot happening in this game. It seems like there's some depth if you want it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My mouse is not there. Oh, what I did. Um. Now I'm just, I'm swinging the sword. I'm not part of it. I don't know what's happening. Oh, okay. There's promoted adventures. That's interesting. Very curious. Very, very curious. Uh, movements normal. Shoot. Left button. Block right button. Interesting. Take down the each floor boss. The people are lost without a king. Interesting. Okay, so you're fighting your way like up through a tower. Buy stuff. Legendary items. Lion's Rebirth Armor. I don't have a shield yet. Okay, so I can't. Okay, you know what's kind of neat? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So this does... Oh, I am instance with somebody. This does kind of remind me of like Ready Player One or something where like you have all of these mini games that seem pretty decently built up inside of this world, which is really cool. Like if you were just logged on with a friend and you could jump between these. Okay, okay. Ah, ah. Take that, peasants. I will say uh, some of these assets look kind of meh. But it, I, I do, I, I'm gonna maybe make another video where I try playing with like the building tools. Cause this does kind of look like a drag and place sort of thing. Uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing to be honest. I'm not against it. Ten coins, 10 coins, okay. I've got 95 coins, that's not bad. Is that hurting me? I don't know what happened. You can kind of run away. Ah, they're respawning! Come on! <laughs> this is mayhem. Uh, I don't have a, I don't have a shield or anything, so I don't think my block. Oh, there's a dodge, I think. I don't know what dodge is. Crouch. Probably should read like. To maybe read like instructions before I jump into these things. And it's not. Uh, it's... Oh, oh, I picked up a lost book. Okay. Give me money. It doesn't feel like super smooth. NK. I will say that. It does not feel super smooth, but. Oh my goodness. Trying to glitch and hit them. Ah! Ah! Okay, this is uh, just poor gameplay. Um. Yeah, let me go back to the core world. I do like that you could just jump between these. The loading isn't 
too bad either. I'm sure once you like find a few games you like, this is actually a pretty good time. And there's probably just so much out. So those are the max of those. And it seems like there's just an absolute ton to do once you get into it, which is cool. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you play core, what should I check out? What should I, uh... Only mecha holders. Okay, so there's some sort of A to do really cool stuff system. Which makes sense. Uh, yeah, let me know uh, games I should check out or things to do inside of core. I'm, um... I'm just kind of, like, interested to see, like, how this progresses and everything. I'm, I'm very curious about it, and I'll probably make a few more videos. So let me know what you guys think. In those comments below, are you going to check it out? It's on Epic. It's their uh, thing. It's on the Epic Launcher. It's free. It's really cool. Um, as far as official history claims, OGs were the first faction. Okay, so there is lore, which is cool. Building in some lore. Uh, constructed with the most durable. That's neat. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in those comments below. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Ciao.